Welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm joined today by Brad Moore from Global Cannabis Applications. Brad, really, blockchain, cannabis, AI. Could you find something the market's interested in? That's kind of the trifecta of success, isn't it, right now? <laughs> Seems that way. Yeah. So tell us, you know, you've just had some media releases. Yeah. I think it's really important to understand where you guys are going because it'd be easy to get distracted in the wrong direction with you covering all those areas people are interested in. Yeah, you know, Jeff, it's a big story. And uh, to keep it nice and short and simple, we're really about wanting to solve a problem that's in the marketplace and that, and we're doing it. We're helping, you know, regulators and regulatory medical programs around the world find a better, faster way to get quality regulated products besides LEAF onto shelves. And we're doing that through AI, blockchain, and mobile technologies. So who's your end consumer? So the end consumer for us is going to be uh, regulators, um, uh, officials around the world that are trying to create a better regulatory process and approve products, clinical studies, universities, licensed product producers, growers, um, people creating vapes, oils, nabs, and you know, also insurance companies too. That's a, that's a key target market for us. So is the, what is the importance of the blockchain element to it? Well, you know, one of the things that's critical about blockchain, what blockchain provides is the ability to have transparency and trust. And since we're looking at, you know, tens of thousands and possibly millions of data inputs coming in and, and being processed through AI, blockchain is critical to actually be able to see the transparency, how that information is being handled. So when somebody looks at the output of it, they feel confident and they, and they can trust that they could use that information effectively. The market's really been liking your stock lately. You've had a couple of really, really positive days. Yeah. What should investors be looking for if they're going to jump into this stock? What sort of news items are going to be exciting and, uh, and create value moving forward? Well, I think fundamentally the thing that they should be looking at is the growth, what the company is going to be doing over the next 90 days going forward. We've spent a lot of time putting the pieces together. And now we're actually executing on those from the launch of the the launch of the blockchain, the development of the blockchain, the artificial intelligence, the apps coming online, and that data set going out and being able to provide some great significant level of value to the people who need to use it. So operationally, we're coming out of the gate very, very strong. Brad, it's so topical. I think we're going to have to be getting together and talking about this as things evolve uh, multiple times moving forward. Thank you so much for coming in today, and we'll look forward to seeing how the stock does moving forward. Excellent. I look forward to it. Thank you.